now we are going to do the puncture resistance test for the membrane as per the ASTM E154 testing method so this is the sample the sample preparation we prepare what is the size of the sample 300 by 300 just explain the procedure for this so this is the puncture resistance test uh, we are following ASTM E154 uh, this is a uh, mandrel for puncture resistance so once we fitted the membrane so we will apply the load using this machine the speed will be 6 mm per minute okay this is utm UT machine, machine 25 kN 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 so what is the maximum load it can be like this Sorry? maximum, maximum load, load 25 kN maximum 25 kN yeah. <coughs> first we will apply 10 newton load then okay. we will start the test okay we will start with 10 newton so we will increase the load newton like 10 under so the speed will be 6 mm per minute okay so automatically we will glow hello so now pores we are starting 1.3 point so the real time load and portion will be displayed here and once you finish it will show here okay so this is automatic so starting out so start it so it will take approximately 10 minutes right more than 10 minutes so now it started for 1 minute the 6 mm load it will go 6 mm movement will be there 6 mm movement will be from top to down so the load will be go to the membrane the procedure this steel it's like around 25 mm diameter it will give the force the load from the machine automatically so from the for 1 minute it will go 6 mm down including the load it will be going increasing so now you can see this membrane is going down you can see in the bottom membrane is the pin is coming bottom so the load it's now started so this is a real time load now now it's the load is getting uh, 80 90 just a position 8.5 so this is the load now more than under the position is the membrane from the place to how much depth is going down now we can see this membrane it's almost 268 newton uh, the position is 16 mm down the membrane In the bottom we can see physically the needle is oh, come down in the bottom